A former Louisville Metro police officer accused of attacking a protester has changed his plea to guilty in federal court. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Corey Evans resigned from Louisville Metro Police in June after being charged with hitting a protester with a riot stick as that protester was kneeling and hands in the air. WHS 11's Grace McKenna covered the new development in federal court today. She's live as we're also hearing from his attorney as to why this plea was changed. Grace. Well, Doug Evans pleaded guilty to one count of deprivation of right today. According to the charges, Evans struck a protester in the back of the head while that person was kneeling, surrendering with their hands in the air. The U.S. attorney today said the person was taken to the hospital the night of May 31st to get stitches. Evans attorney Brian Butler said he wanted to plead guilty because Evans wanted to take responsibility for his actions wanted to take responsibility for his actions. Obviously, we believe there were a lot of surrounding circumstances that that led to this, but that doesn't change the fact that he committed the act that he committed and uh, he served his country. He served this community and he wanted to take responsibility for his actions today. The charges here are serious and carry a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. Instead, Evans attorney struck a plea deal with the U.S. attorney. They're arguing for no more than four years in prison, three years supervised release and a maximum $250,000 fine. Butler says the sentencing reflects the circumstances. They were facing gunfire. They were facing Molotov cocktails. They were facing unspeakable un danger and he reacted in a manner that he wishes he wouldn't have and we hope the courts take that into consideration. Now to this point, the protester has only been identified as MC and that person did not appear in court today, though we're told they stood they could still choose to appear at sentencing. Now we do want to note here this is not a done deal. The judge still has to either accept or reject that plea agreement. We're told that's going to happen at sentencing, which has been set for November the 23rd. Doug. Well, Grace, uh, what are you learning? Is there a chance we could actually hear testimony from Corey Evans himself at his upcoming sentencing? Yeah, Doug, well, we asked uh, Brian Butler that today, and he said they haven't gotten to that point, haven't made that decision, but Corey Evans does still have the right to testify on his own behalf if he chooses to do so at sentencing. All right, Grace McKenna, live downtown outside federal courthouse there on Broadway.